Tanya. I'm also known as Dr. Cutris. I am here to talk to you about contraception. <laughs> Let's simplify contraception. So firstly, what is contraception? Contraception is a method that you can use to prevent a pregnancy. Now that's not to say that only heterosexual people need to use contraception. You can also use it for many other reasons like preventing sexually transmitted infections, like treatment for things like PCOS. So there are lots and lots of uses of contraception and to understand that, let's first understand what are the types of contraception that are available. And to understand that very very simply, I'm going to use a Bollywood love story between a boy and a girl and make it simple for you. So how are we going to understand this using Bollywood? Well simply put, let's take the sperm as the boy, let's take the girl as the egg and what happens when boy meets girl and they decide to fall in love? It is usually a villain that stops them from meeting and this villain is our contraception. <laughs> this is just an analogy to make it simpler to understand. So. The first kind of contraception that we're going to talk about is going to be how to stop ovulation. That sounds a little bit confusing, doesn't it? Let's simplify it. So what happens in Bollywood when a boy or a girl start falling in love? How do you prevent that from happening? The first and the most annoying way to do that is to stop the girl from stepping out of the house. This is what usually happens too, quite unfortunately. How we can apply this to contraception is the girl is our egg, her house is the ovary. So if you can stop the egg from leaving the ovary, that is if you can stop the ovulation, you already are preventing a pregnancy, you are already preventing the boy and the girl from falling in love. So this is the first method. The two types of contraception that we can talk about here, normal contraceptive pills and we can also talk about emergency contraception. So this is the one way. The second way of making the boy and girl stop from falling in love is you literally draw a wall between them. Pyaar, mohabbat ke beech mein aai, diwar. Diwar kaise aai? So how you build a wall is, the boy has stepped out of the house, the girl has stepped out of the house, they are about to meet. What comes in between? A condom. <laughs> These are barrier methods of contraception. In barrier methods of contraception, we can use things like condoms, which can be internal or external. We can talk about diaphragms, which are put inside the vagina, underneath the cervix. And lastly, we can talk about sponges. These sponges basically contain spermicidal agents, which are chemicals that kill the sperm. And they prevent the sperm from entering into the uterus. So this is our two types ovulation stopping and barrier method. Now let's talk about the next method. Now comes the next step. The boy and the girl have both stepped out of the house, which means we haven't stopped ovulation. The boy and the girl have managed to meet, which means there's no barrier contraception. Lastly, the boy and the girl have managed to meet, which means the egg and sperm have fused, which means they've made an embryo but this embryo will not get attached. So you stop the boy and girl from getting attached and properly falling in love. You stop the embryo from attaching to the inside of the uterus and if the embryo doesn't attach, it doesn't grow so there's no pregnancy. And this is how many different kinds of contraceptives work. Things like injectables, implants and intrauterine devices. Injectables and implants change the inside lining of the uterus. What they do is that the line, they change the way the lining works so the embryo can't attach or they put a bouncer at the gate. The bouncer is your cervical mucus. The cervical mucus becomes very very thick so the sperm cannot even enter into the uterus let alone make a baby. And lastly, talking about intrauterine devices, they can work in two ways. They can be hormonal or non-hormonal. If they are non-hormonal, they basically kill the sperm. They like put a taser to the sperm. They contain something called copper in it. Non-hormonal intrauterine devices can contain copper in it, which basically kills the sperm off. And if they're hormonal, they release a little bit of hormone that changes the inside lining of the uterus and also the cervical mucus. This is what an intrauterine device looks like. 
it's just this bit only this small the rest of it is the applicator that helps you put it inside the uterus and these are the little arms that open up inside and stop the egg from being able to properly meet the sperm all of these are temporary methods of contraception aside from this we also have some permanent methods and how you do this is think of salim and anarkali what happens to anarkali anarkali ko diwar mein chunwa do the same way you can get your little eggs or your little anarkalis chunwaud in the wall how you can do that is that you can get the tubes of the uterus cut this is called a tubectomy and it prevents the eggs from ever coming out and meeting the sperm it's a permanent method of contraception the same way agar salim ko deewar mein chunwa diya that is if you get a vasectomy done where the pathway that the sperms use to come out of the penis in the ejaculate if you snip them off so the ejaculation will happen there will be no problems with an orgasm but the sperms will not be there salim deewar ke andar band ho jayega i hope you found this useful and i hope i was able to answer some of your questions If you do have more questions please drop them down in the comments box below and I will try and answer them for you. Choose your contraception wisely. This is Dr. Tanaya aka Dr. Cutrus signing off. See you.